Mr. W.D., I know you're all busy right now, so, so could I leave my list and run do some other things I got to do and pick up my groceries when I come back? Bessie, now on, the only way you're gonna buy any more of my goods is for cash. Cash? I, I don't get what you mean, Mr. W.D. Anybody does not trust my figures, don't get my credit. Now, that's what I mean. I don't care who it is, man or woman, black or white, I'm running a business here. I ain't never been so outdone in my life, Mr. W.D. Hall. Long as you've been knowing and dealing with me and Luther, and we's hard working as anyone in this town, and we ain't owed a living soul so much as a penny. Now, y'all best deal with them souls. You don't owe nothing, then. Because you sure owe me. Mr. W.D., you listen now, to me. Now, don't I... you ever talk yourself none. I'm done with it. If you got any talking you want to do, you do it with Luther. What's wrong? You ain't gonna believe this, but, but W.D. Hall done cut off our credit. <sighs> Took some things over to old John Warner. Can hardly walk with the neurosis these days. Ain't you heard what I said? You said W.D. Hall done cut off our credit. <sighs> well, I guess it's already all over town. I ain't never been so mortified and mad in my whole life. Simmer down. Treat me like they're in front of all those people. Folks laughing at me. And you, too, all over town. I'm so mad, I feel like going and chicken his eyeballs loose right now. I said, Simmer down. What you expect me to do? Go over there and bow and scrape like some shuck proper? Is that what you want? Let's just forget you ever said that to me. Been all my life in this town. Same as W.D. Work hard since I was Booker T size. Get right down to it. Reckon the most important thing a man gotta do is stand up for himself. <laughs> 